Rick's Barber here. Uh, I'd like to show you an old way and a new way to cross drill a piece of rod in a drill press. The old way, which is arguably the best that I have found, if I want to cross drill through this rod at a given distance from the end, I'm lucky enough to have a depth gauge. So what I would do is got the drill press with some friction on it and I would set the depth first and then I'd use this very old but amazingly accurate technique of putting a steel rule down pinching it with the point and then adjusting it until it's level and I'd probably sight in from the side uh, to make sure it's level. And when it's level like that, I'm on center. And it's a very good way to do it. But sometimes I don't need that kind of accuracy and I'm more interested in just getting it done. So I just got myself a 3D printer. It's a Prusa, in case you're interested. And after some playing around, I came up with this little fixture. So let's repeat this. So I start out and this time I'm gonna lock it because I don't need it to be moved up and down. So I've got it a little distance from the, the rod and I take this and I've got, if I wanna have a quarter inch, then this depth stop here, I'm turning it all the way in when I place it on the rod, I'm now a quarter inch from the end and I'm on a diameter of the rod. So that holds two of those constraints. And then when I park the cutter, oh, I got it a little bit too low. Okay, oops. Okay. When I park the cutter in that slot, now I'm at the uh, quarter inch point and I'm approximately centered. So now I'm down on center. It's not, I'm not claiming it's as accurate as the steel rule, but it's certainly faster. So I'll show you one more time. Done.